200 kilometers and 25 hours on the water a week. That dedication demonstrates a team hungry for success. It's a bigger team at the Olympics and they share the same mission. We do see ourselves as a, as a lion pack. You hunt together and we're certainly going to go hunting in Rio. It's 10 weeks until the games begin in Rio. At this stage, it's all about wrapping up preparations. Since the last World Championships, the team has shown great improvement. Based on the progress the rowers have made over the four-year cycle, a lot can be expected from the team. For us, it's not about just going to the Olympics and participating. It's about going to the Olympics and winning. Um, and we've got to keep that culture strong in our team, um, as participation isn't good enough. So I think with that hunger um, and that extra motivation on athletes finally coming up, we've done a lot of good work, and now it's about just turning that work into speed. In London 2012, the lightweight men's four team claimed gold. The team is no longer together. However, James Thompson and John Smith will compete together in the lightweight men's double. It's not an easy transition in disciplines, but they have managed it well. The two have become a force to be reckoned with in the world. We've learned over the years that you've got to focus on the process. Um, process every day in training and just keep your head down and doing it. My expectations are, are very high always, um, but it's an execution of a great race is my expectation. And if I put that out, um, hopefully we'll come home with what we really want. For the majority, it's the maiden Olympics. They have done well for themselves during the four-year cycle leading up to the Games. Ursula Hobler is one of the debutants who will compete in the lightweight women's double skulls. She partners Kirsten McCann. They are ranked amongst the top five in the world. After the guys got the gold, I mean, it inspired us as the athletes to say, wow, this is incredible. Um, I want that too. And so now the result is that, that um, we've qualified five boats. I mean, that's incredible. And just out of a bunch of athletes who um, just absolutely love the sport and then the system um, that Roger's created, AJ's coaching, our support staff, it is, it is unmatched. And I really think that's what's made the momentum more than anything else. The team recently had a training camp in Lesotho and some good competition in Europe. They will now remain at this Rudi Dam for their final training schedules. Levan Dube, SBC News, Pretoria.